right, Caleb, what game are we playing today? Luchador. Luchador Mexican Wrestling Dice. Yes. And do you like Luchador? I do. <laughs> you definitely do. You can't get enough of it, can you? Mm-mm. <laughs> Even when you get taken to the mat. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep going. <laughs> Gotta keep going. Well, what is Luchador all about? Luchador is all about trying to be the last Luchador standing. Nice. And how do you do that? By either knocking your opponents out or pinning them to the ground. Ooh. And with a lot of dice. Yes. So you got a lot of characters. So I guess you start by picking your character, huh? Which did you pick? I picked El Perito. Nice. Right, so you got special moves. You got some advanced cards, and you're going up against Bam Bam and Fuego. Well, sweet. Do those cards look confusing when you first take a look at them? Uh, a little. Yeah, but are they easy to understand? Yes. Okay. And you got one with a little ticker on it. What does that represent? This is strength. So this is, you slowly get knocked down this until you KO'd. Ooh, and if you're KO'd, you're toast. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Or you could also get pinned, right? Mm-hmm. Well, why don't you show us how to play? All right. So to begin, two people or four people. Four people in the ring? Four people not in the wing. <laughs> you can play four people in the wing, but that's a little more advanced. That would be chaotic. But you yes. can tag team. You two can teams. tag team. Nice. Okay, what do you do? So, if it's two players, first you get your strength card and put it on the side that says two players. There's one that's two players and one that's four players. Okay. So you have less health. So two players... They get their characters, and then they both get their wrestling dice, and say three, two, one, roll. If any dice come out of the wing, they don't count. Ooh, <laughs> you rolled wild. If this ha appears, that's a miss. It doesn't count. Okay. There's blocks, counters, and punches. So that's what you got there. Okay. So line them up. What happened? So, I punched and blocked, he punched and countered. So he'll counter one of my punches, and I'll block his punch. Okay, so what does that mean? It means I block his punch so nothing happens, but he counters my other punch, which means he hits me back. Okay, and how do you case, hit? He rolls his green dice okay. to see how much damage he deals. Choke hold. That means I lose two strength. So you look on your little chart and it tells you. Backhand chop, forearm smash, drop kick, choke hold, chair smash, or table slam. So all those can be hit if you score a hit. Okay, yes. so you got dinged some points. Yeah. Or some strength. Yeah. And then what happens? You go again. <laughs> so it's frantic dice rolling, frantic right? Frantic dice rolling. All right. Go again. And what do we have this time? Let's see, this is a pin. You can only pin when their little red tick goes below 14. Okay, so once they're there, then they're pinnable. Yes. So let's suppose he is. Let's let's go over that. But first, do your other dice. Ooh. So let's say he was down there. What Ten. are your other hits? He got two hits and two counters. I got two counters and a block. Which means I'll counter those two. Which means I punch him back twice. Okay. So I go. Backhand chop, he takes one, and another backhand chop, so he takes two over. The counters did that. All right, but now we're saying he's in the pin zone, pinnable zone. Yes. And you rolled a pin, so what does that mean? That means I get to roll this magical yellow dice called it's the magical. pin dice. <laughs> yes. What are the possible results there? That is a stun, which means your opponent is stunned. Okay. So if you're playing tag teams, he can't tag out this round, and he only rolls three dice next okay. round. Okay, so there's, that's a stun. What are the other options? There's you miss the pin and nothing happens. Yeah. There's two of those. There's you celebrate instead of finishing <laughs> the pin and you regain one strength. Okay. Or you successfully pin him. Oh, okay. So what happens when you pin him? He gets his four dice together. He rolls, rolls, rolls. And what's this he time he rolls for? Three blocks or counters. And it could be a mix. It's like Yachty, you get three tries and set aside blocks and counters. 
He successfully did it, so he escaped the pin. So he escaped the pin. But if he hadn't, then you would have pinned him and you would have won. Automatically. Wow. So once you get someone in the pin zone, those are pretty sweet. Yes. So let's say I got, what was it, two pins. Okay. And I successfully pinned him both times. Next time, he only rolls three dice, but he still has to get three blocks and counters. Which means it is very deadly, and I just oh, won. <laughs> because he didn't, he didn't get out of the pin. Yes. Nice. There's ways to escape the pin and all that. Yes. Plus, it looks like every character has different abilities that yes. they have on there. Mm -hmm. You've got different strengths and weaknesses, so you can step it up. So you can play basic without those abilities if you don't want to. And how do you tag out if you're doing tag teams? So, let's say I had La Tormenta on my team. Let's say he's here. I high-five him. He can choose not to high-five me if he doesn't want me out If yet. he doesn't want in the ring. Yeah. And then I roll his dice. Then, if I get any result other than a miss, I'm safe. If I get a miss, I'm dragged back in the ring and I only roll three dice. Because I'm stunned. <laughs> so, you could try to tag out because you're low on strength and not You get dragged out. back. So it sounds kind of crazy. So it's just a lot of dice rolling fun, huh? Yes. And you love it? Yes. What would you rate Luchador Mexican Wrestling Dice? I would rate it a 4.6. <laughs> nice. Well, I guess you're anxious to get playing, huh? Yes. All right. Thanks, Caleb. Mm-hmm.